Bitwarden is one of the most popular online password managers you can use today. But with all good things in security, some hackers out there trying to ruin it for everybody else. Security researchers at Flashpoint, a threat intelligence company, have found a vulnerability in Bitwarden's browser extension that could send your passwords to an attacker's webpage. In this video, I'll walk you through what that vulnerability is and show you how you can check to see if you're susceptible. Like many online password managers, Bitwarden has a feature that allows users to auto-insert their usernames and passwords into the websites. This is amazing because it saves you time. I mean, who really wants to go and copy paste all these usernames and passwords into the websites anyway? This is made possible through Bitwarden's browser extension. Browser extensions are these little programs that you can add into your browser that extend capabilities, like managing your passwords. In Chrome, you'll find these browser extensions in the top right corner underneath a jigsaw icon. Now the issue here is that Bitwarden's browser extension is giving a little bit too much trust to something called an iframe. And no, an iframe is not a new Apple product that you can use to post your pictures. An iframe is an older feature of HTML, which is the code that's really built the internet. iframes allow developers to embed another website into the website they're building. It's a little bit like website inception, but it allows these developers to extend the capabilities and features that they're adding into their website, making it a lot easier to build things quickly. Typically, your browser is not going to share information between these different iframes so that you're not sharing information from website one with website two, which is loaded through that iframe. But this is where Bitwarden starts to fall short. When you have the Bitwarden browser extension installed, as you go and visit a website, that browser extension is going to first check to see what URL that you've accessed. It's then going to go and look to see if you have any saved passwords for that website. At that point, it's going to prompt you to say, hey, we have some data for you that you can autofill in and you can select to autofill that in and then you're on your way, you're logged into that website. But for some people, that's not quick enough. They wanna go faster. Bitwarden provides you a mechanism where you can autofill in that data before you even see anything. And that's where things start to go wrong. If there's an iframe loaded on that website that is looking for a username and a password, Bitwarden is going to autofill the legitimate website with your username and password, and it will also send that username and password to that iframe. If an attacker had a malicious iframe loaded on that website, they will now get your username and password as part of that login cycle. Thankfully, the number of websites that are impacted are fairly low, so we don't need to raise the alarms yet, but we do want to make sure that you have your Bitwarden browser extension configured properly so that you are never at risk of this happening to you. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. If you go over to your browser extension, fire up Bitwarden, you can then go into the settings here and just check that autofill option here. What you're looking for is to make sure that this first option is not checked. And thankfully, Bitwarden does a good job of showing that, hey, this is a problem if you have this loaded on. So it's a shout out to Bitwarden because they're taking the appropriate steps to one, make sure that this isn't enabled by default in the first place, and two, promptly warn users if they are trying to enable that. So. What you need to do right now is go check your browser extension, validate that that is not checked, and then you can know that your passwords are safer than somebody that does have that selected. Every password manager is going to have its little quirks here and there, but I fully stand by online password managers, and as long as you take the time to set them up correctly, you're going to be in a good spot. If you're in the market for one or you wanna validate how yours today compares to others on the market, check out this video here, which will cover the top three password managers that you can use today.